Hi guys, how are you today? Question mark, my life is out of control. Okay, so here's what's going on. My name is Bailey Sarian, if you didn't know, hi. Um, I'm gonna do some makeup today. <laughs> What is this video? I'm gonna do my makeup today. I got some new items in PR and I thought I would just kind of put them on my face and give them a whirl. And um, also I broke my no buy, I roll. Look, Walgreens was having buy one, get one 50% off. And I was like, you know what? Mm. Get so dumb. I got this CYO long lasting foundation. I've heard good things about it. So I thought I would try, cause I need another foundation. Also today's video is sponsored by Ipsy for their new Betty Boop collection, which I will also be showcasing. Normally when I do a sponsored video, I tell you guys this is sponsored. Then I go into the sponsor part of the video just to kind of, you know, get it out of the way. That way it's not like randomly surprised in the middle. I don't know why. I just like to do it in the very beginning. But since this is like a product that I'm going to be using, I'll make sure to call out and let you guys know this, like this is the sponsored part. Like this is the sponsored product. I just want there to be full transparency and not that I'm trying to sneak something up on you guys. I don't know. Okay, so let's start off with this foundation, the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. It says it's life proof. Wow. It's so hard to know your color in store because you can't swatch it like you would want to. Hopefully this matches. I got it a little, a little bit of a tan, can you tell? Because I can. <laughs> we went to the beach. Oh, sorry I didn't upload last weekend. I had posted on my Instagram, my Twitter, on the YouTube community tab. I said, hey guys, I won't be uploading today. I needed a day off, I really did. Uh, Fernando and I like don't ever hang out cause we work so much. And like the next couple of months are just insanely busy. The last Saturday was like gonna be the one day I had, I could like take it off. It'd be the one day that I could take off. So I was like, I'm gonna do it, sorry. I do freelance makeup from time to time. I don't as much as I used to, but I got asked a lot for September and October for a couple weddings. But I was like, sure, why not? Like, and this was months ago, I think in like the beginning of the year. Next thing you know, I took like almost every single weekend, I'm doing bridal makeup, which is awesome. I like, I like weddings. I like going to weddings. I like doing wedding makeup, it's fun. Next thing you know though, every single weekend, I'm like, whoops, what did I do? And they're all like out of town too. So I gotta figure out, am I gonna get like a hotel room? Am I gonna just travel in the morning? I don't really know. We'll figure it out. But I like doing bridal makeup because it's fun to be part of somebody's like really important day, right? Like you're getting married, that's that's big. You're gonna look at pictures when you get older, hopefully, and show your kids and be like, look, this is when I got married and like the makeup and yeah, it's a forever thing and it's cool to be a part of that. I like that. So that's why I, I don't mind. I like doing bridal stuff. That foundation looks nice. I'm gonna do my hair at the end. <laughs> I always show up here looking a mess, but like, I can't help it, okay, like. Okay, so I'm just going to, I grabbed a little bit more of the foundation. I'm gonna tip tap right over in these spots. It's nice when I, cause they did have samples out in the store. Of course they are a disaster in store because people are garbage. I mean, it, it's true. When you go to like Ulta, Sephora, cause I used to work at Sephora, people were garbage and they would take the samples and they would write all over the little gondolas and you were like, what are you doing? So what I'm saying is at Walgreens, they had samples out, but the foundation seemed so dry. And I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna be for me cause I'm already so dry. But actually it's a lot more hydrating than I thought. Hey man, I'm pretty impressed with this foundation, I must say. The only thing is my face is a little itchy in certain spots, but I don't know if that's my allergies or if it's the foundation. So we'll see. Okay, so then I picked up, buy one, get one free, bitch. <laughs> No, buy one, give them 50% off. Sleek Makeup Life Proof Concealer. We have a life proof theme going on, wow. This is shade uh, four, Vanilla Chai. Ooh, I love Vanilla Chai. This was like the only one that wasn't opened in the store because again, people are garbage, ruin it for all of us. So I picked up this one. It kind of looks like a weird color, so. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, it looks so like beigey in here. And I'm gonna blend her out. My hair color looks so weird under these lights, but in real life, it doesn't look like this. My colors must be off. How do I adjust color? I, I don't know. I need to figure that out. There's so much I need to do. I'm having a meltdown. Breathe. Yeah, so the next couple months are kind of like out of control, stressing me out. My hair has been falling out because I'm so stressed, which is not good. Stress is so toxic to your body. 
you will die if you stress too much. I mean, we're all gonna die, but stress will just kind of speed up the process. I've always been stressed. Even as a little kid, I would get stressed out about weird things. It's like I never really learned how to handle stress properly. So I, I really just need to start meditating and breathing. Any tips? I could still see my darkness over here and it's not making me happy and I deserve to be happy. So what are we gonna do about it? I think I'm just gonna leave it. Just move on, Bailey, let it go, let it go. I've never seen Frozen, so I don't even know what that song means, but I think it's about letting go. Lately, I've really been into putting down a foundation powder underneath my eyes, and then I put a translucent powder on top of that. I know, I know, it sounds absolutely insane and cakey, but it looks so nice when I've been doing it. So if it ain't broke, make up forever. I just got this, it's the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. It feels heavy, like in a good way, you know? Anyway, so I have the shade Y225, and I'm going to just use my own sponge, and then just dab a doo -dah under my eyes. Yeah, I've been doing this the last couple of days, and every time I'm like, ooh, who's she? She's Bailey. Um, So I'm about to hit 400,000 subscribers on my YouTube, and that's just insane to me. Never in a million years did I think my lame ass would have almost 400,000 subscribers. Like, what is happening? I'm wondering what I should do. I wanna do a giveaway, but like, I always feel bad because I wanna give everybody something, you know? Not just like one person. I'm not rich yet. If I were Oprah rich, I would be like, you get a car. So now I'm going to do my Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent. Just poured some into the cap. I used my sponge and we set, we set. I mean, I guess I could do some give a giveaway for sure. And I probably will do it on the Saturday video because I feel like the people, my like my Saturday and my Monday audiences are very different. You know, two different types of videos. But my Saturday videos are like, you guys are the loyal ones. You know, you're here for me, not for just crime stories. I don't know, I'll figure it out. B-E-A, beautiful. Okay, so this is by e.l.f. and it's their brow pomade, I believe. Lock on liner and brow cream. I have the shade light brown. I'm not really a big fan of brow creams. I kind of go back and forth with them. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. I'm just really over that super defined eyebrow. I go through stages, I mean, we all do, right? Sometimes I like that super Mm, eyebrow and then right now I'm in the more like softer eyebrow phase in my life. I just want a soft eyebrow. Do you guys already know what you're gonna be for Halloween? What do you think the popular costume's gonna be this year? Because I feel like every year it's something different. Remember that one year when everybody was Harley Quinn? <clears throat> I guess that's the only one I really remember. On YouTube, there's always so much pressure around Halloween. Like everybody's always like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Do you, have you already like started making videos? I'm like, I am such a last minute person. Like if a video, my Saturday videos, usually I film Friday. <laughs> it's not funny, it's actually really bad. And it would probably help me if I pre-filmed stuff, it would probably help with my stress. I'm just the worst. I need a nanny for me. Oh, my neighbor upstairs. He's so loud. He's probably listening. I've tried to be nice to him. He's not very nice. I've tried. At least he's not like the last neighbor. Oh my God, at our last place. Don't even get me started. I think there's a video where it's like, he broke into our apartment. I sat on the couch the other day and I just plucked the crap out of them. So this one's a little janky. These products I'm gonna show you right now are the sponsored products, you know? So Ipsy sent me these things. I'm picking my nose while talking, beautiful. Ipsy sent me these things. Very excited because they're doing a collaboration with Betty Boop, iconic. These items will be released next month, October. So I'm gonna show you a couple of them. First of all, the packaging is super cute. If you love Betty Boop, we have the That's So Betty eyeshadow palette. I love Betty Boop. Growing up, my mom used to love Betty Boop. My grandma used to love Betty Boop. Look at, ooh, she's shiny. Isn't that cute? B for Bailey. Bailey Boop. This is the eyeshadow palette, Gorgina. I have a little lipstick here. Oh, cute, it has a big lip mark on it. Ooh, let me swatch this. It blends in right with my tattoo, love that. This shade is called Mauve It Baby. Mauve It Baby, go away. I can't wait to not live in an apartment one day. Dream big, they say. This one's called Boop Oop A Doop. Oh, is that what she says? I always thought she said Boop Boop Be Doop. 
Oh, boop, oop, a dupe. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, this is a matte red, my favorite. Come on, camera, over here. Well, I had that wrong the whole time. Boop, boop, a doop. Ooh, so we have two glosses as well. So let's play with this eyeshadow palette. Okay, I zoomed you in. So I was thinking about playing it safe with like these colors right here because I want to play with a red lip and I don't want my eye and my lip to compete with one another. I want them to complement one another. I'm going to start with this pink shade. <laughs> I almost dropped it. Boop, bop, boop. Okay, putting this in here. So some of you guys know like I have a hard time speaking, right? Speech impediment, woo! When I was younger, I couldn't, I had a hard time saying my name. Um, and everybody thought my name was Betty because I couldn't say Bailey. I couldn't even say Bailey. <laughs> so everyone thought my name was Betty. Good times, you guys. Cute little pink shade. Now I'm going to do this shade right here. It's like a pink, it's like a champagne color. I like that, it's really soft. I never do like, yeah, I always do a soft eye. Okay, I'm gonna play with this purple shade down here actually. I'm just lightly patting it because I don't want it to be too dark. I'm gonna use a small brush like this one is great. This is by Royal and Land Nickel and it's BOM435. Sometimes I wish they would just give a name versus a number, but it's like a small tipped detail brush. I'm gonna spray this with like a setting spray, boom. And then I'm going to dip it into this, dip it and do it. Tap it, by getting it wet, it'll make it, it'll intensify the shadow. So I want it to just give a little smokiness, smoking a brown cake, right at the lash line. I'm gonna take that same purple shade just right along the lower lash line, about halfway over. I always make the dumbest face. Then take that pink shade. There we go, baby. Dust off the loose powder. Okay, so this is also a blush palette. Cheek to cheek blush palette. Ooh, oh Betty, you bad. So you get three different blushes, matte, shimmer, shimmer. I'm gonna use um one of these, but for some reason I thought it had a bronzer in it and it doesn't. So let me grab my contour. Smashbox contour palette, my ride or die. This shade right here, <laughs> the very used one. I'm gonna use this to contour. I have my little angle brush. So I've really been liking this. This is from Ofra and Madison Miller collaboration. It's called the Highlighter in C Shimmer. Look at it, it's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna use a brush, you guessed it, a brush. I like to do highlight, oops, oops, I got way too much. Before I do blush, it just blends it a lot better. Now I'm going to use this blush palette. I've been loving this brush. It's by Wander Beauty, it's double-sided. So this is like the blush side and this is the contour side or the bronzer side. Um, so this is perfect. This one with a smidge of that. I love mixing. Okay, so let's pop this one in the corner of my eye. Okay, so let's put on mascara and some lashes. Wow, I love this hair. And I'll do it off camera because it's so boring. And last time I tried to do my mascara and talk and I stabbed myself in the eye and that shit hurt. So lash princess and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on these lashes. They are by Bold Face Makeup and they are called Sassy Sense Birth. They're some of my favorite pairs. I wanna do a red lip. So I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in number 712. So the Betty Boop, 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 a doop. It's a nice matte red, so it doesn't feel wet at all, which I like because, you know, with a the red, they can bleed where it kind of moves. I hate that. So this one's nice and matte. Let me do my hair so we can get a finished look. <gasps> Ta-da! And this is the finished look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? Let me know down below. I always feel so cute with a red lip. I love a red lip. Wear it, it's just makeup, it washes off. Try something new, try a red lip. It boosts your confidence. It's just like, trust me though, when I first started wearing red lipstick, I was so insecure because I thought everybody was staring at it and like staring at me and like I just felt weird. But once you just start wearing it, you stop caring. 
It's all about challenging yourself and just getting out of your comfort zone. So the Betty Boob collection for Ipsy will be launching on October 1st. I also will be doing another video in depth with the different Betty Boob products. Um, there is actually a lot of different items and I'm just gonna create some looks with it. Oh, should I put this gloss on top? I forgot about the gloss, luscious. Anyways, but I will be doing another video where I go more in depth with each and every product from the Betty Boop collection. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know down below, gloss or no gloss. I hope you have a wonderful day. You make good choices. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.